Bill Plaschke, Lindsay Theory, and Zach Helfand, AT&T Stadium, where USC just got thumped by Alabama, 52 to six, their worst season opening loss in program history. Bill, we're not surprised they lost. We're surprised they lost that bad though. I'm just stunned that they weren't ready. How do you not be ready? This is the biggest opening game in many years, a celebrated game, a new chapter, a new era. And you act like they're still on probation. You act like they didn't want to be here. They didn't even show up. How does that happen? How does that all off season, all the boys talking about Alabama, how does that happen? It happens because you have a first year coach, a first time play caller, a first year starting quarterback. But Zach, you've been at training camp. Has this team looked this poor during all those practices? There was a practice, I think it was on Wednesday, where they were just sloppy. There were guys chanting things on the sidelines and people throwing balls up in the air. And that was the one time I said, I don't know if they're taking this game seriously enough. And I guess it showed today. Bill Lane Kiffin came into this because what do you know? He wanted some revenge, that tarmac firing out at LAX. You think this was some revenge? He wasn't stopping with the scoring fourth and goal. He's going for it. Unbelievable. In the fourth quarter, fourth and goal, he runs it in. Or the, the, then on the next possession, they had they had, they had a long, like a down a distance, long distance, went for a long pass, touchdown pass. Lane Kiffin definitely rubbed it in, definitely got revenge. He was behind his clipboard, behind his playbook, and behind his, uh, in his oversized windbreaker. He was laughing over there. He was joking around about this team. Yeah, Lane got his revenge tonight. Makes it even more painful for USC. It's just hard to understand. And I think this puts Clay Hilton, the honeymoon for Clay Hilton's over. Zach, where does this team go from here? Because when they go home, they play Utah State, but then it's Stanford, and then it's Utah. And Clay Helton, he's 0-3 since being named the permanent coach. Well, I, I think the one encouraging thing for them is, is that the defensive line didn't look as bad as everyone thought it was going to be. I think in the second half. Oh, that's encouraging. Yeah, I mean, it's, this is a very small encouragement. In the second half, I think they kind of rolled over. But the, the not encouraging thing is that the offensive line did not look nearly as good as a lot of people expected. And, and against physical teams like Stanford, and Utah, they've got to clean that up or else it's going to be ugly. It could be one and three, if not, I I assuming that they could beat Utah State right now. Yeah, I can understand. How do they get the, the safety splits and leave a guy wide open for a 71-yard touchdown? Uh, Eli Marshall knocks a guy out of bounds, quits on the play, that guy scores a touchdown. They break off a 71-yard run. It's like it was just huge. It weren't just little scores. It, weren't, it wasn't like a you know slow roll. It was like a tidal wave. It was like USC wasn't prepared for it. And then, how about timeouts? This is my worst. Three timeouts in the first quarter. In the first quarter, they used all their timeouts. They had all summer to talk about this, and they had three timeouts in the first quarter. I just don't get it. US <laughs> it's, 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 there's just so much to talk about. Six plays for Alabama of 20 yards or more, six of them, and a lot of them were. 40 yards, 50 yards, a couple 70 yarders. So it, it was it wasn't that they were just had had Alabama had more talent, which they did. It, it was mistakes. It's just they didn't look prepared for this game. USC's downturn started in 2012, if not before that, because of the sanctions. Bill, now we hear our five seasons later. Where does this program even begin to go now? Well, I don't know. This is this is a step back. They got to reassess everything after this. See how everything's going this season. You know, people helping. People are gonna be crying, screaming at Clay Helton now. And I think they need more of a chance. He's only had three games as a permanent head coach, mm -hmm. but. They have a huge step backward. They're this far. They're six touchdowns, more than six touchdowns worse than Alabama, who's not, to my mind, a national championship team. They're great, but I think they, they, were, they were better last year, and yet they just had to show up, and USC didn't show up. they got to go back to square one. USC has been looking forward to this game for the last two seasons. Players admit they're not quite sure what to look forward to now, but they do say it's time to turn one the page. One thing about today. Lindsay's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Lindsay. birthday, Lindsay. Thanks. It started with an earthquake and it ended with a floozy of a football <laughs> game. All right, with Bill Plaschke and Zach Helfand, I'm Lindsay Theory. We're out of here.